of the mountain. I'm Ian and today we're going to have a look at the Mostronics HP1 Harp preamp pedal. After finding the Mostronics HP1 I realised that it not only worked really well for driving simulated amplifiers, it also presented a great opportunity for direct recording and live performance as well. This is a hand built pedal with a metal case it's very nicely constructed with a great feel to it. While the layout is simple, it is really well thought out and works very well indeed. It is great to find a hand-built quality item being manufactured right here in Australia. Mostronics have a really broad range of pedals for guitarists, bassists and of course the harp preamp for harmonica players. The layout is extremely simple for the HP1. You have three knobs, gain, tone and volume. There's quite a large sweep in tone and volume across these controls. The gain, for example, will give you everything from very, very clean to quite gritty, and the tone will go from a dark bass tone through to a really nice, clear treble. It really is a matter of dialing in the tone that you're looking for that suits your style of harmonica playing. Aside from the input, there's also an output that you can run directly to your amplifier, as well as an XLR output that you can run straight into the desk, into your PA, and in my case, straight into your audio interface. I thought it would be great to put a video together that shows what you can do with the Mostronics HP1 Harp preamp. It works very nicely for silent recording and also works very well in a full stage environment. So I've set this demo up using an old Shure Unidyne 585SA, a high Z dynamic mic often used by James Cotton. It's plugged directly into an audio interface, into GarageBand. To simplify things, I've decided to use absolutely no plugins, EQ or compressors. The reverb is from an analog Lone Wolf Harp reverb pedal. I must admit that it would be no problem at all to just take the HP1 and the Harp reverb to a gig and use it as my complete sound setup. While this video may be a little repetitive, the main idea is to give you an idea of some settings and the tone that you can expect based on the available tone of the harp preamp. 